Aries. Aries, welcome. Let's get into a general read for you guys. Uh, I can't remember if I did one last week. Uh, things have been, yeah. Life has been life. Let's put it that way. Looking at your current energy, though, we see the Four of Swords showing up. That Four of Swords is then accompanied by the Eight of Coins, Lovers, Nine of Cups, and the Five of Coins. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, I'm getting goosebumps for some weird reason. Now, looking at this, it looks like you're really trying to make something work. Part of you has had enough. You might be pulling back a little bit. But you're really working hard to keep this fulfilling. But the five of coins, this just seems like you're putting in the effort, but it feels like you're almost working it alone. And it's making you feel possibly quite insecure because you're not getting the reciprocation that you may want. Now when you go to the possible desire, the Four of Cups. We see the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. This feels very much like, you know what, you're kind of done, and you're pulling back. Again, we see that pullback with the Hermit. We also see it with the Four of Cups. Like, you know what, a mm, little too much, a little too little, a little too little too late. I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, that's what that's feeling like because I get a difference between actions and words at this particular point. So somebody's saying one thing and they're doing another. So their actions really aren't um, keeping up with what they say. And it just seems like you've had enough of it. Interestingly enough, though, when we look into the possible future or outcome, we see it's a lot of cards. But we see the seven of coins and the emperor doing what you need to do to make things happen. The wheel of fortune, things start to spin. Hangman being able to readjust and sort of this might even be some self-sacrifice that may seem a little overwhelming, that going on this on your own may seem a little overwhelming, but it's all gonna depend on how you look at it. <clears throat> this can be that as you go into the future, you're going to be super stable, but right now it could be seen very overwhelming. Now, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Four of Coins, Two of Wands. This is what is working for you. There's a learning curve here. And I always like learning curves just because I'm a little ADD and I like to look at a lot of things. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get back to you. So Aries, when we're looking at this, this is the learning curve where you're starting to break loose. You're starting to get things done. You're focusing on yourself with the Seven of Wands. Again, we see that pullback with the Four of Coins, being able to really be self-sufficient and self-starting. You're really not looking at the um, sort of relationship side of things, if you will. But we see that pullback and then the Two of Wands. What do you want to do with this? You know, where do you want to go? It's almost like there is this focus on you and you've kind of let that other side go. What you need to be aware of, we have the two of coins, followed by the world, the tower, knight of coins, and the page of swords. While you're sort of juggling between love and life, we see that you start to enter a new cycle with the world here. That cycle brings in something new, and it seems like um, oh my god, crash, boom, bang. And for some reason, it's a rock set song from long ago. Uh, Knight of Coins, being able to just keep going 
despite all the problems that are presenting themselves, but still being watchful with the Page of Swords here. Now this could be that you're watching what's going on or somebody's watching you. You may not quite understand what's going on there. And take it out, it resonates. So we see the Six of Coins, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So there can be some type of uh, give and take coming in for you. This could even just be a gift from the universe coming in. And it spurs you forward. It's like it gives you a, a, a bit of a needed kick in the ass, if you will, um, or motivation to move forward. This helps you feel better about things. It raises you up. You feel better. You feel stronger. And then again, we see this two of swords. You know, what do I do now? So we're seeing a lot of that, like, what do I do? What do I do? And so that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week, Aries. We'll talk to you soon. Stay safe.